Welcome to Design with Miyoshi. We're going to continue making it a semi. I had a little epiphany and I'm going to go ahead and make this as more parts than I thought I was, but that'll be good. But first, I want to thank Northwest Technical Products for sponsoring this video. If you are part of an educational institution in Washington, Alaska, Oregon, Idaho, or Montana, contact Northwest Technical Products for all your SOLIDWORKS and other technical needs. Thanks, Andrew, and all the crew at Northwest Technical Products. All right, here we go. So we always start out, sketch, sketch, and I'm gonna go in the top plane. And I'm just gonna make a rectangle. Oh, I guess I could have made that with metal like that. Let's do that. Yeah. You can have several different types of rectangles. I don't really like the center rectangle. I'd rather do the corner. I'm gonna do a rectangle. So I'll do corner, corner. And then I'll make a line. Make just make a center line. I like to get it all centered. Yep. Okay. Then I will. I just think about if I really want it centered or I want it centered on the very front. So I will like to keep it centered. I'll maybe do that line, which is already selected. The center line and the origin. Oh, let's make a midpoint. Okay. Now, smart connection. Oops. Don't do that. Let's see. Okay, smart dimension. Let's mention this guy. It's going to be six inches, and we'll make it eight inches long. Now, I'm not going to grab this line because I want it from the front to the back, and I'm going to make a fillet. So that's why I want to make sure this is eight inches already. Okay, yeah, let's make it a little longer. Let's go ahead and make that double quick, change that, and make it 10 inches instead. All right, that's a little better. So now I'll do a sketch fillet. Now we've done fillets in um, the solid part, but let's make a fillet here in the sketch. So there is this thing called sketch fillet. Here we go. Just press that, and you notice there's a sketch chamfer as well. We'll do a sketch fillet. And we want to open that. Let's make it at, uh, let's make it bigger. Let's make it a quarter inch fillet. And I'll just, I can do it two ways. I can click the corner. And I can also grab the two edges that make up the fillet. I don't need to keep the strange quarters, corners. And I can just make it a little bigger. Let's make it half inch. There we go. That looks a little better. I can actually see it now. I know hit okay. Okay. And I don't know why it went. Not black anymore. The line, so it's not constrained. Looks like everything's constrained. Oh well. So I'll hit okay. That looks a little better. All right, so there we have it, our base, if you will. And hit okay. And then I'll do features, extrude off space. And all we're gonna do is extrude it up one inch. Okay, hit okay. Now we'd be done except for, I wanna put some holes in here. And the holes I wanna put in here are not necessarily all the way through. So let's do this. Actually, let's see, these holes I do wanna be all the way through. But I wanna use something new. I'm gonna make a hole wizard. Now you could have obviously put some holes in there. But we're gonna make a hole wizard, okay? Hole wizard's a little different. It's kind of odd sometimes. You select a type of hole, and notice there are all kinds of cool holes here. Uh, this one's got a counterbore, there's a counter sink, there's just a hole, there's a hole with um, taps, so that means it's mixed threads, and there's all kinds of cool little holes here. We're just gonna make a regular hole. And notice you've got different sizes here. Um, all the sizes, and see, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this size, and I wanna do a, I'm gonna make these fairly big. I wanna do a half inch. So, there we go, set, about 30 seconds. No, it's getting, there we go, three eighths, there we go, one half. That's one half inch, and we'll go through all, okay? Notice there are all kinds of things. If you do blind, you just do a distance. If you do through all, it's gonna go through all, and so forth. Now, you have to make sure you go to positions next. And we wanna go ahead and grab this face on top. We could grab the face on bottom, but I'll just grab the face on top. And I wanna look at it better, so I'm just gonna change the view to be the top view. Now, some people like to grab here. I tend to like to grab here. All right, so I'm gonna just place these holes first. And I'm not gonna do any relations or anything yet. I'll just kinda of place them willy-nilly here. And I want four. Now, notice I could keep placing them, but that's all I need to do. Now, once I do that, I can smart dimension where I want these holes. So I want this hole. Actually, let's do some relations first. So let's make this center and this center. We're gonna make them horizontal. And we're gonna make, uh, we'll unselect this one and grab this one and make them vertical. And we'll unselect this guy and actually both these guys. And we'll make these guys vertical. And then we'll unselect this and select this and make them horizontal. Okay, now, let's just dimension this a little bit. I want this to be from the edge to the center. I want that to be one inch. And I'm gonna move this guy out. I don't like it inside the figure. And then I'll do the same thing here from the top edge to the center. I'll make that one inch. And I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Notice it's already constrained left and right because I made these vertical. So I'll go from the bottom edge to the center. And we'll make that an inch also. And then do the same thing on the front. Front edge to the center. Make that one. Now, all these do, what we're going to do for us, is we're going to um, connect in with the top part. So anyway, that's all I've got to do on this guy. So I will go ahead and finish my dimensions. Um, hit the OK. And now you can see I have some holes. I use my middle mouse as a wheel or button. You can see that there are holes all the way through my video there. Okay, so now I can save the sky up and I'll call it semi base. We'll call it the base. Okay, now let's make a part, oh, make a drawing. So I'll do a, oops, new make part, part from drawing. And the nice thing about SolidWorks, I don't have to go back and redo it. I can always go edit it if I decide those um, are not in the right place. Actually, they're not in the right place. Let's cancel this out. <laughs> I just realized they are not in the right place at all. So let's go back to, let's just close this guy. Oh, I'll say that. Let's uh, do better. So this is actually kind of nice. If we uh, right-click on the hole, we can edit the feature. 
Now, when you edit the feature with the whole wizard, if you don't have the whole wizard, you can change the type, of course, but we can also change the position. So here, I'm going to change these dimensions. Uh, notice it wants me to put a hole somewhere. I just want, I, all I have to do is hit the escape key, and then I can go and edit these guys. So let's make that two instead. And let's make this guy two instead. Yeah, let's make one and a half. So let's see. No, two, two's good. Looks kind of funny here, but that's okay. And let's go ahead and change these guys and put them two in as well. There we go. That's a little bit of what I want. Okay. I'm looking here to see if it's not quite what I want. Um, let's see here. That's all right. All right. So then we'll hit OK. We'll save this guy out. Oops, hit, hit the check here because we did edit the poll. And then hit save. And then we will make a drawing for the part. And see, hey, that's good. And again, I like to do drawing, model view, next. And I'll do multiple views for the top and the side. Even though I don't need the side, I'm sure we can put the auxiliary view in there as well. We're going to go ahead and make this uh, center lines. And we're going to use the custom sheet size, which is one to four or one quarter scale. That's good. Okay. Um, I want to do this a little differently because I want the front view, the top view to actually be the front. So let's try this again. So let's get rid of those guys. Uh, we'll leave the auxiliary view, but we'll get rid of, actually we'll just get rid of this guy. Oh, that's going to get rid of all. And this guy. Yeah. All I did was hit the delete key, and then obviously saw me hit OK. I'll move this guy down here. And then what I'm going to do instead is I can make projected view. So all I have to do is quick projected view from here, and I'll click it there, and there it projects out. Okay, so now that's connected to here. If I move this view left and right, it's connected. And I'll do another projected view again from this view, and I'll move it up here, even though this one's probably not necessary. All right, now. You see those funny lines, of course, those saw lines here and here, and you wonder what the heck are those? Well, those are the tangent edges. I'll leave the tangent edges on the perspective view, but let's turn them off on the other view. So I'll right click and do tangent edge, tangent edge removed. And I'll do it on all the views, even though there are no tangent edges here, just in case I decide to fill it something later on. And I'll just turn it off on all the views. I'll leave it on the perspective, like I said, but I'll turn off on the other ones. All right, there we have it. We'll leave this up just a touch. And again, you want to make your drawing beautiful. Annotation, not smart dimension, we'll do model items instead. All the entire model, import in all views, and I'll just check. That looks pretty good. Move that down a bit. Notice that they come in pretty close to the way we did it uh, dimensioned in the model. So that's a good thing. Put that there. Change that. I don't like that in the figure, so I'll move that out. And what else do we need to do? Well, we need to locate the hole. So let's locate the hole as well. Okay, we'll do a smart dimension. Grab this edge and grab the center. Pull that down. And I'll grab this edge, grab the center, pull that down. Now I could put a 2x there. That would probably be a better thing. Um, and then we want to notice, we want to note that these guys are all lined up. So let's go ahead and do a sketch. And we'll just make a center line. And I'm going to let it sit here and not grab that point, but I'll grab out here a little bit and just move it over this way. And I'll do the same thing. I'll right-click and end chain. We'll do the same thing here. Move that down just a touch and come down somewhere about there. Right-click and chain. Same thing here. And I can just actually see that that hidden line there, that dashed line, it'll just go ahead and make it lined up perfect for us. Right-click and chain. Same thing over here. Again, I'll make it lined up the other side. There we go. Now, those little center lines say that all our centers are lined up. And the two and the two, that tells us there. So we need one more dimension. And that is from the bottom to the center. Oops, wrong thing, grab the wrong thing. So I hit the escape. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit tighter and I'll grab that. I didn't like me grabbing the point here. Hit escape again. Let's go ahead and smart dimension from the center this time instead. Oh, I didn't like that either. No, I need to put a center line there. I don't know why I put this center line here. So let's go ahead and we'll get out of, I hit escape with eyes to get out of smart dimension. And I'll just delete that line with the delete key. No, didn't like that either. Sometimes there's artifacts, artifacts that are not really there. So let's see here if that's one. No, it doesn't think it's an artifact. So, all right, let's go ahead and smart dimension. So we grab that center. It doesn't like that. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should have done the centers first. Oh, easier way. Let's just grab the center line and the line here and bring that out here. That looks fine, right? It's fine. We can leave that there. Actually, I actually don't know why it's a driven dimension, but we'll leave it there. That's fine. And then we'll move this out a bit. Be okay. And there we have it. All of our dimensions. We're not quite done, right? We should put a 2x here in front of the radius. 2 capital X space. And that's good. We don't need to have any other dimensions because the center lines tell us that these guys are lined up with each other. These holes are lined up with each other. And the 10 tells us how wide the radius, or that radius of our fillets. No, all good. So there we have it. Oops, I probably should do this over here a little bit better. I'm going to do now, hit the OK. Right click in the sheet format, edit sheet format, and of course, we'll put in our name. Now let's put my last name. And date, double click in there for the date. It's day 17. Oops, I didn't, I didn't double click. Or I didn't, it didn't take the double click. Okay, double click in the title. And even though it says semi base already, I'm just going to say. My face, and then I'll click outside here, find the center here, and then just put Yoshi design. There we have it. On the check on the note, right click on sheet format one, edit sheet. The drawing comes back, and I'm all set. I'll to save, save all, and there's my semi base drawing. Save. Of course, I want to do a save as, save this to PDF, save. There we have it, the base of my semi. Oops, I did forget one dimension here, so let's go ahead and put in that last dimension, the dimension of our holes. So I'll just don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Um, 
doesn't like to dimension the hole. Oh, there we go. Zoomed in. There's my hole dimension. And that, that's not, well, that's the dimension of that inner part of the hole. Let's go inside the outer part. So there's a little bit of a, I don't know what you call it, uh, a bevel there, if you will. So that's what that outside part is, as if you were really making a hole with the drill. So that's why, and you can see that over here as well. But I will go ahead and just put that dimension in there. And of course, there's four of them. So I'll put four X there, four X space. And there we have it. The missing dimension that I forgot just a second ago. So I'll have to go back. I already did my title block. I'll just go back and save this again. And I'll save it again as a PDF. Save, it'll ask me to replace it. And yes, of course, I want to replace it. And there we have it. The base of the semi. All right, so there we have it. Uh, one more part to the semi, uh, our toy semi. Um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Design with Yoshi.